there's a nice glare. Hi, this is Meg uh, with Farrington Nature Link. Not sure if this is working, but figure uh, we'll try. We'll try this way. Sometimes there are technical difficulties, and that's okay. Uh, so where were we? We were on a walk. We were talking about being outside. It's a beautiful day here. Um, so let's take a look. Um, so we're talking about birds. Have you ever seen a bird? Do you know any birds? Do you like birds? I like birds. I like birds too. Uh, I have a little bird friend here. This is Ori. Hello, Ori. Hello, Meg. Uh, Ori, uh, I have some questions for you. Okay, what are your questions? <laughs> uh, Ori, what do you like to eat? Bugs. You like to eat bugs? Yeah, I like bugs and wasps. Bugs and wasps? Can you believe that? I have never eaten a wasp. Don't eat wasps, kids. Those won't taste good. They're delicious. Moving on. Ori, um, what kind of bird are you? I'm an Oreo. An Oreo? That's a type of cookie. No, an Oreo. Oh, an Oreo. I've heard of those before. And I can tell you're an Oreo because you are orange and black. That's right. So, Ori. Where do you live? I live in a condo. You live in a condo? No, just kidding. I live in a nest. I've seen birds' nests before. Uh, what are birds' nests made out of? I like sticks. <laughs> That's right. Most birds' nests are made out of small twigs, sticks, pieces of grass, and any kind of soft material that they can find sometimes feathers, sometimes hair, sometimes moss, um, all kinds of things. Thank you, Ori. We'll check in with you later. Okay, bye. Uh, so today we're gonna make a bird feeder. Um, despite what Ori said, some birds also like to eat seeds, nuts, and other things that you might find outside. Um, for this project, uh, we're going to use pine cones, some peanut butter, and some bird seed. Sure. Um, so let's get started. We, we're going to go on a little trip around our neighborhood, um, but we ran into some technical difficulties. That's okay. Beep, beep, beep. Um, so instead, I have brought some materials here. Uh, let's see what we have. Okay, so I found two different kinds of pine cones in my neighborhood. Um, if you don't have any pine cones, that's okay. You can also use a toilet paper tube with some string. Uh, you can use a stick. You can even use a piece of cardboard. Anything that peanut butter can stick to. And for those allergy kids out there, uh, you can also use jam, you can use honey, anything else that's natural and sticky. Uh, great. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about our pine cones here. Uh, you can see these two pine cones, their scales are a little bit different. Um, so one pine cone, this one, has larger scales and inside these scales are where the pine seeds live and this one has slightly smaller flakier scales so these came from two different trees i have a game let's see if we can figure out which kinds of pine needles came from the trees so these pine needles oop, oop, um, are long. They are in little bundles of three and four. Um, they're green. They smell like, well, they don't smell like much. <laughs> um, and they come in these little thin 
branches. So the needles are right on the edge. So, boop. do you think these pine needles came from this pine cone? Or this pine cone? Which tree had the long needles? What do you think? Did you guess this one? No, sorry. These pine needles came on this tree. And this is, I believe, the white pine. Double check my notes here. <laughs> um, yeah, this is the eastern white pine that has these long needles. Um, and the other one I can show you, this pine cone with the flaky scales. These are the pine needles that come on this tree. So they're a lot shorter. Uh, they're a little bit pokier. Um, they smell like a little bit like a, a Christmas tree. They make a pretty good mustache, I think. Um, you can also put them in your hair as a little hair accessory. Um, and they stick really well. Looks good. Thank you. Um, so these came from a spruce. Okay, so we've got our materials. We have our pine cone. We're going to start here. Can you hear the birds in the background? I can hear them. I think that means spring is coming. Spring. Do you know what season it is? Is it still winter? I think it's spring. Let me ask Birdie real quick. Ori, I mean. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, Ori, what season is it? It's spring. Ah, it's spring. That's right. Thank you. All right. Let's get crafting. All right, we have our pine cone. Check. Next, we're going to need some string. Boop. Um, kitchen twine. Uh, yarn. Any kind of string is going to work well for this. Um, so I have some knitting yarn here. I'm going to take about, where's the camera, an arm's length of this. I'm going to take some scissors and we're going to cut. Boop. So now we have our piece of string. What we're going to do with this is we're going to attach it to our pine cone. Excellent. Sarah on Facebook says she can hear the birds at her house too and wants to attract more birds. A bird feeder will do that. All right, so we're going to take our pine cone and we're taking our string and we're going to wrap it around the top here. Just like so. So this is like this. So it's wrapped around. And then we're going to take the ends and we're going to tie a knot between these two. Uh, any kind of knot will do. I'm going to tie just a little overhand knot here. If you need help, you can ask an adult to help you tie. Boop. All right, so I have a knot. I have my pine cone. I'm going to try to put this around maybe another time, too. All right, my pine cone has a nice little handle that I can hang it from. Does this look like it would be a yummy treat for birds or not yet? Not yet. I have an idea. Let's add some seeds. If you don't have bird seed at your house, you can use any kind of seeds. Sunflower seeds, uh, peanuts, you can use raisins or dried fruit, or you can look around your neighborhood or your local park. And you can try and find berries and other natural things to put on your bird feeder. If you can't find any of those things, you can make a nest feeder. I know. What is a nest feeder, you might say? Let me tell you. Um, so instead of something that the birds can eat, this could be something that the birds use to make their nest. 
So again, you can use peanut butter, you can use honey, or you can just kind of stick them between the little scales. Um, you can use little pieces of twigs and grass and things that birds might like to use for their nest. Okay, so we have our pine cone. Next step, we need something sticky. Um, can you think of anything sticky? Maybe... Soda. Soda. Okay, I don't think soda will stick on pine cone very well. Maybe... Glue. Glue. I don't think birds would want to eat glue. How about... I got it. Peanut butter. I just happen to have a jar of peanut butter here. Um, I personally like to eat chunky peanut butter, which means it has little bits of nuts in it. Delicious. Um, any kind of peanut butter will do for this project. Um, again, we're making this for the birds, so don't go out and eat your own bird feeder. Got it? All right, we will need a butter knife. You might need some adult help uh, with this next step. It's gonna get a little messy, that's okay. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put peanut butter on our pine cone. You might put your pine cone on a paper plate or some kind of surface, um, just so your table and your hands don't get too sticky. All right, let's open up that peanut butter. butter. Mmm, it does smell like peanuts. You want to smell? Take a look. Yum! All right, so I have a little plate right here. And we're going to scoop some peanut butter. You don't need too much. And we're going to take our pine cone, and we're going to put it on the outside of these scales. Now this pine cone doesn't have any more seeds in it because they fell out of the little scales. How do you know that? Well, you can shake it and there aren't any seeds coming out. Um, also, you can look in the scales, this way, this way. <laughs> um, and it kind of looks like little petals, but you can see there's nothing inside. Inside these little scales is where, where the seeds would live. All right, putting peanut butter on our pine cone. Let's get a little bit more peanut butter. Do birds eat those seeds too? Uh, yes, they do. Oh. They do eat those. Um, but most of the seeds will fall to the ground and hopefully become new pine trees. If a bird eats a pine tree seed, mm -hmm. Will the tree grow inside the bird? No. No. Common misconception. Okay. Um, but if you eat seeds or if birds eat seeds, a uh, tree will not grow in their tummy. They're just going to eat the yummy protein part of the seed um, and have a nice meal. Okay. Thank you for your questions. All right. So we have covered all the sides of our pine cone here. A little bit more here on the bottom. Okay, we are looking good. All right, so now we're gonna put some bird seed on it. I just happen to have some bird seed. <laughs> Take a look. It's a little bit of crushed up corn, some sunflower seeds, some millet, things like that. Uh, this I got at Home Depot, but you don't need to buy pre-made bird seed. Again, you can use sunflower seeds, peanuts, raisins, things like that. Um, so now we're gonna dip it in just like a ice cream cone and sprinkles. Can you use sprinkles? No, don't use sprinkles. Birds aren't going to really like just the pure sugar of it. You might take some seeds and just kind of cover it over like this. Kind of bury it. Ooh, it's sticky. All right. We'll pick it up. Ooh, it's spinning. 
And check it out. We have a little bird feeder. Our pine cone is covered in peanut butter and yummy seeds. You can hear our neighbor's dog. Hello. Do you think dogs would want to eat this? I bet a dog would eat that. Yeah, it's got peanut butter it's on it. So dog might like. All right. Um wonderful. Great job, everybody. Now we're gonna go find a nice spot to hang our bird feeder. Do you think we should hang it inside or outside? You're right. Outside would be a better idea. Let's go find a nice branch to put this on. Um, come with me. All right, you got your got your bird feeder. This looks like a nice place to hang something. And then you can see it out the window here. Uh, yeah, window. That's where that's where the cats that's where <laughs> that's where the cats like to watch. There's no cats right now. But maybe <laughs> maybe later. Alright, so I'm gonna hang this. A branch. This is this is one I made earlier. Here, maybe over here. Hang it. There we go. And you've made your bird feeder. Um, so now, beautiful. <laughs> um, so now you can uh, watch your bird feeder and see what kinds of birds come and try and nibble at your pine cone. Um, you can take, uh, there is a tally sheet that we can, um, put online so that you can watch some of your favorite birds come. Um, we can go back and have a seat over here. Thank you, camera person. <laughs> Ooh, flowers. Flowers. So what are some things that um, you might see birds doing outside? And you know who would know? Ori, our friend. Let's check in with him. Oh, hey, Ori. Hey, Meg. Um, so Ori, my friends are wondering, what are some things birds like to do in their spare time? Um, do birds go to work? No. Oh, so what do most birds do? Well, you might see us sitting. Good point. Thank you, Ori. We'll check in with you later. So as you're watching birds come to your feeder, you might see them perching on a stick or a twig. You might see them sitting on telephone wires. You might see them singing, maybe even dancing a little bit as they're singing. Uh, eating would also be a thing that you might see birds doing. Um, what are some signs of birds? How can we tell if birds are in our neighborhood? What are some things you could, let's try and use our senses. So you could hear them. Let's listen. You hear any birds? I hear a few. They're not super close, but I can hear them. What are other ways that you can tell that birds are here? You might see bird droppings. You might see tiny bird footprints in the mud or in the snow. Um, or you might see seeds that have been cracked open as well. Um, can you smell birds? Can you smell birds? I don't think birds are going to get close enough to our noses that you can smell them. Good question, though. Um, well, I'll check in, see if anyone else has questions over here about birds or things. Um, otherwise, we are going to wrap up this section of uh, 
Facebook Live from Farrington. Uh, you can thank you for joining us. Um, it's been fun showing you around my house here in Saugus, uh, making some bird feeders. Um, stay tuned. There are going to be more episodes where we'll be doing some more crafts. Uh, and also, there might be some animal encounters. Can birds eat big raisins? Ooh, good question. Thank you, Allie. Um, if they are too big, the birds probably won't want them. So if you can cut them in half, if you can make them smaller, um, the birds are more likely to eat them. Thank you for your question. Um, I want to say hello to my friends Elena and Isaac. Meg Meg says hi. <laughs> um, and any other fans out there, uh, thanks for joining us. Um, it's been fun. Stay safe out there. Listen for birds. Get outside safely and uh, enjoy the day. Bye. Oh my God. You did was... it. It was great.